Good morning, juniors. So I will not be in class today, but I am on campus. The English department is attending a national English conference, but this year it's virtual. So in the event that you absolutely need to speak with me or talk with me, you can shoot me an email or I'll be in the Jaguar uh, room restaurant conference room. So I'm actually just two floors below the classroom. Um, but you do not have a lot to do. You do need to obviously watch this video, which you are right now. Congratulations for following directions. I will have a question for you at the end and you'll put the answer in the answer box right here. Um, and then what you're going to do today is you're going to be adding to your um, e-portfolio and then turning that into this post right here, ePortfolio, adding a career ready page. Okay, so there's not a lot to add. We're going to go ahead and open up your portfolio. If you don't remember how to get there, remember you can go to Google, you can click on the waffle, and you can click sites. Okay, so on your career ready page, that you're creating. By the way, you don't have it yet, so you're going to have to click Pages, click Plus, and type in Career Ready. Okay? Make sure you do that to create a new page. You can make the banner whatever you desire. I decided to make it a tablet, a notebook, and a pen, but make sure it says Career Ready. Now, on this Career Ready page, you actually only need two things. Okay, so remember you're using the insert option and you're going to pull from Drive. I need a copy of your resume. Make sure you stretch it out to make it the full size view since you're not writing anything. Have the full size view with the resume. Um, and then you also need to put in your student goal setting that you did yesterday. Okay, these are the only two items that you need in your career ready page. And remember, you can just click on your drive, click on the magnifying glass, search for the item, and then you can double click on the item or click on it and click insert. Okay. There, needs, there doesn't need to be any sort of writing on here whatsoever except for the word career ready, okay? Now, what will I be checking for a grade? This career ready page needs to be completely done. You also need to have your program page. Remember, the name of your program needs to go on top. And then you have the description of your program. Then two pieces of evidence title that evidence, and then in five sentences, explain the skill or knowledge that you're showcasing in your evidence, okay? Make sure you've explained it well because I'm not in your program. And then you should also have your English 11 page now done in which you have five assignments embedded, title of those assignments, and then five sentence description, and lastly, you should have a home page. And on your home page, you should have a welcome message that we made together. And then a picture of yourself, a professional picture of yourself, whether that's a school photo or an image from lab, whatever you desire. Okay? So at this point in the game, you have four pages complete. All right? Once you're done with those four pages, you know that there's no other changes. You're going to come back to classroom. You're going to cl click the second post that says career or e-portfolio adding a career ready page. Do not click mark is done. You need to literally add your e-portfolio. So click add or create. Google Drive. If you've recently worked on your e-portfolio, it should be right there. Double click and then click turn in, turn in. And there you go, as long as you see a little thumbnail view of it, you know you've turned it in, okay? Now the last thing that you need to do is make sure you at, answer my question. What is the question? Here you go. In order to get your 20 points in the answer box, tell me your 
favorite Thanksgiving food? What is it? Okay, tell me your favorite Thanksgiving food. What is it? And then click turn in. Okay, um, make sure you do this because I'm making it heavy points so I know that you actually watch the video. Favorite Thanksgiving food, what is it? All right, guys, I hope you have an amazing Thanksgiving. Please reach out if you have any questions um, and, you know, gobble till you wobble. See ya in December.